Okay, that you be not so shaken in mind or in trouble, either by spirit or by word, nor letter, as, if, as the day of the Lord is at hand. As a letter from us. Okay, this is just prompted by the circulation of a spurious letter, apparently. And apparently an intentional forgery. And they're fretting that they were already in the day of the Lord. And, and why should that bother them? Because they obviously were pre-trip. They were expecting to be out before the day of the Lord started. That doesn't mean they'd be out before persecution. But there's a specific intensity, the wrath of God kind of thing, that uh, is the day, uh, it characterizes the day of the Lord. See, Paul had plainly said that Jesus would come as a thief in the night and had shown that the dead would not be left out in the harpazo. Remember that? All from chapter of 4 of the first Thessalonian letter. But some of these apparently claim to have a private epistle from Paul that supported the view that Jesus was coming at once, as that the day of the Lord is now present. That's was somebody was promoting there. Okay, so he continues, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that, man, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. A falling away. Apostasia is the Greek term. Apostasy. And uh, there are two issues here. The first is the apostasia. The deliberate abandonment of a formerly professed position or view. A defection, if you will. A reflection of a former allegiance. And this term is used to denote a political and military rebellion too, by the way, just in terms of the meaning of the Greek word. In the Septuagint, it's a rebellion against God all through the Septuagint, and it's also all through the New Testament. Okay. Now, the definite article points to a great revolt of the end time, and that's in 1 Timothy 4, and we've covered all those in many other places. I won't take the time here. Nowhere... Does the scripture ever speak of the rapture as a departure? In the rapture, the church is passive, not active. It is initiated by the Lord and done by him. We saw that in verse 1. The, that the man of sin be revealed. That's the second issue here. First is the apostasy. The second thing is that the man of sin will be revealed. That's in the aorist tense. It's a definite time when the veil will be removed. His revelation will herald the fact that the day of the Lord has actually arrived. When the rapture, when the uh, man of sin, the Antichrist, call him what you will, when he's revealed, you know the day of the Lord started. That's a, that's a key issue. It's, 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 if it hasn't started, it's, you're on the threshold of it. The son of perdition, there's that term. The word perdition is the opposite of salvation. That's all it really means. It's used distinctively of the man of sin, and of Judas, interestingly enough. 